A lot of times, during the interview process, you might be asked to describe DNS. DNS stands for Domain Name System, and this is the system to look up between domain names and IP addresses, which uses port 53 for TCP protocol and is also available on UDP. If you type google.com in your internet browser, computer doesn't know what is google.com, and it asks DNS server to do the lookup. DNS system makes it possible for us to type google.com and instead get connected to IP address 216.58.192.174. By the way, you can make a cool experiment and type this IP address right in your browser. And when you hit enter, you will get right into google.com. But I bet you might realize that it's much easier by just typing google.com. DNS architecture on the internet is very sophisticated and it consists of four different layers. DNS recursor, root server, TLD namespaces, as well as authoritative name server. Microsoft Windows Server provides DNS app to help manage DNS in Windows Active Directory architecture. Inside DNS app, you can configure forward lookup zones, reverse lookup zones, trust points, conditional forwarders, and a lot of other things. The query to translate website name into IP address is only one type of queries that DNS provides. In addition to this query, DNS allows for recursive queries, iterative queries, and non-recursive queries. DNS is an extremely fascinating topic. If you're interested in DNS, I recommend you type in Google these additional queries for DNS security, DNS zones, DNS root server, primary and secondary DNS, as well as reverse DNS. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You also get opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.